Hello my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Doc Review Series, where we will explore the world of quality shoes for men. We will cover general shoe care and knowledge, review the brands you love, and introduce you to brands that you've never heard of. So get yourself ready, and let's dive right into today's unboxing video. Alright, got a new unboxing video for you today. Peter Hunt Shoes. So this is a brand I've been following on Instagram for a while. And really they've got an interesting story. So it was a, a grandfather that uh, started a, a shoe factory in the 1950s. They sold shoes all over the world. Ended up closing in 2010. The father worked in the company. The brothers worked in the company. And then they started, after they closed the factory, they started their own uh, company and their own brand, Peter Hunt Shoes. Peter Hunt was the name of their top agent that worked for them selling their grandfather's shoes in the UK. So, you know, a nice little history there. And we'll take a look at these. So, uh, this is very cool. Um, you know, you get this uh, specially made for Michael Balding, or it's got my name on it. Um, you know, that is a nice touch. The Lasquez model, the brown and navy, it's got the size, so all the, uh, the relevant information. But again, I think having the name on there is really uh, a nice little touch. First thing I notice, uh, really nice sturdy box. I like the deep lid. You know, it's a subtle little uh, detail, but I think that uh, makes a difference. It just looks a little bit nicer. So take a look here. Uh, nice sturdy box. And this is really nice as well. Look at this, with the little seal. Um, never seen this before. Uh, again, really just nice packaging here. Um, it says precise art artisanal techniques in the shoemaking process and patina. Talking about the patina, so that's one of the things that kind of drew me to them. The, the hand dyed patinas that they do. So we'll take a look. Um, kind of a typical uh, plastic shoehorn, but uh, pretty pretty sturdy. Feels nice. All right, so got the the shoe bags. This is a a nice feeling shoe bag. So this is this is kind of different. Um, this feels like a microfiber um, type of material. You know, I don't think I've gotten a brand uh, using this material. It's surprising. I've got this for like cleaning cloths for sunglasses and things and this kind of microfiber, almost suede-like uh, material. But the first time I've seen it on a shoe bag, but it makes uh, great sense, feels really nice. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful patina work on this. Look at this marbled cognac color, this, this marbled brown and then the marbled blue on the vamp here. Love the, the two-tone look. Very, very cool. All right, so now that I've got them both out, let's take one more look. Increase the brightness a little bit on the video, but look at that brown and blue. Absolutely beautiful patina work on this. Yeah, check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then let's take a look here. So this is Goodyear welted. I like this leather sole, and this is a hand-painted uh, patina finish on the sole too. I like this with the uh, little um, rubber bits here. So this increases traction, probably wears down a little bit slower. Um, so very unique kind of blend of the, the rubber sole and the leather. I prefer leather soles uh, to pure rubber, but I think this is a perfect in-between. Got the nice brass nails here and the uh, little rubber insert. So again, Goodyear welted. You can see the, the welting through here. They don't have um, uh, fudging along it. That's like these little kind of indentations that you can do. Um, but I don't think it's really needed here either. I don't think it really adds that much, especially when the patina is really the star of the show. Um, there is a little bit of a, um, I don't know, you don't call it fudging, but there's this little decorative uh, design kind of pressed into um, the heel block here. 
You know, it looks to be a, a leather stacked heel. Looks very nice. You can see the padded insole. The leather lining with the suede at the heel kind of helps prevent uh, slipping. And I will note that the the leather insole, it goes all the way in to the front of the shoe. Sometimes there's a little uh, padded um, section that stops about halfway. I've seen a lot of shoes do that, um, but this one goes all the way into the back. Just looking at the stitching here, I'll also point out, you know, it's a wingtip design here. Um, you know, the broguing looks uh, really precise. Sometimes on wingtips and brogues like this, you'll find some little brogue holes where the hole isn't punched out perfectly. I don't see anything like that. These all look to be very precise. Uh, it lacks pinking. That's the little serrated edges. And again, I think the pinking not being on here makes it a little bit sleeker looking shoe. So I kind of, with a bold patina like this, I, I like the absence of the pinking. Uh, the stitch density on the top, you know, looks looks normal, looks good, also looks precise. Uh, stitch density on the sole here also looks um, it looks good. Not the highest stitch density, but you know, looks on par with like Allen Edmonds, something like that. Take a quick look at the other shoe, just seeing if I see any kind of defects or anything like that. And I really don't. Again, the broguing looks perfect. Uh, the patina work is really outstanding. Love the way that looks. Yeah, don't see any defects at all. Um, really nicely done. Uh, the packaging was impressive. The shoes are impressive. I'm gonna add just a little bit of shine. Honestly, there's quite a bit of shine right out of the box. Um, this is completely wearable uh, right out of the box here. So again, these are Goodyear welted in Spain. Uh, the price on this model is uh, $393, which is you know, pretty pretty on par um, for this type of shoe with uh, Goodyear welting. Um, this is Italian uh, leather, and um, this kind of patina work, you expect to pay that kind of price. So again, very, uh, very pleased with these, uh, very impressive. You know, I like the toe shape as well, it's a nice chiseled uh, toe shape here. But yeah, let's get these uh, shined up just a tiny bit more. All right, to shine these up, I got this new Boot Black uh, Series Cream Polish. Um, and I've seen some really high shines developed with this instead of your typical kind of wax polish. So I've been anxious to try this out. So we're going to give this a shot. And I'm purposely using this kind of uh, lighter brown color because um, I don't really want to, you know, darken up the toe. Uh, there's such a rich patina here. I'm really just looking to add shine, and that is it. I don't want to disrupt the patina at all. So I'm just using a little bit, a small little dab on the, the fingertip here. Just kind of getting a, an even coat on the toe. I don't want to darken it up much and cover up the, the patina work at all. So I'm just doing a, a thin little layer here, letting it kind of dry to a haze. Do one more like that. And we can do a touch on the heel as well. While I'm working on it here, something else I'll, I'll point out. You know, just look at the, the heel, how it doesn't have much of a seam. It's a small little seam here, but it doesn't go all the way up. Uh, again, just kind of a nice design detail here. Um, such a small little bit of a, a seam really gives it an elegant look. And I'm going to use a little bit of this kind of high shine water that they've got. Now it doesn't tell me, well at least maybe it does, but it's in Japanese so I can't read it, but it doesn't tell me exactly what's in here. My guess is this is a water uh, with a little bit of alcohol blend, uh, but again I don't know for sure. 
I'm gonna do a little dab of the cream polish with some of this shine water. And we'll buff this. Alright, so I've got these shined up using this uh, black cream polish and I must say I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, you know, I cannot believe the level of shine I was able to get on these things with just the cream polish. If you had shown me these and told me that this shine was done with cream polish alone, I would have said no way is that even possible. So very, very impressed, beautiful shine on a beautiful shoe. So thanks again to Peter Hunt for the opportunity to review these. I'll have some pictures of these on the feet here soon, um, but absolutely beautiful and a, a shout out to Boot Black again. Amazing, amazing cream polish. And I do like their, uh, their little uh, magic water here that that I try and out too. It does seem to work quite, quite well. So check them both out, Peter Hunt Shoes, and uh, if you want to pick up some boot black to shine them with, I recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. See you on the next one.